Today I'm going to show you an AI tool that allows you to dive into a topic and really learn about it. And you can do this with pretty much any topic you want to learn. Uh, so it is an experiment from Google. So if you go to learning.google.com, you'll come to this page and it says helping everyone in the world learn anything in the world. Uh, but their experiment, the learn about experiment, uh, if we want to try it, uh, you're going to see the learn about isn't currently available in your location. So clearly everyone in the world is located, you guessed it, if you've been following Google, is in the United States. So we are just going to teleport there because I am someone in the world who wants to learn about stuff. I want to learn. So now we can hit try about again and it will load up and work. So uh, when you have the learn about experiment up, it allows you to learn about different stuff. So if we scroll down, it gives you all these like little preset ideas or examples of stuff you can click and you can learn about. And they have like different categories from history to physics, so on and so forth. So I want to learn about black holes. That's where my interest lies. I'm here. I want to learn about black holes. And this is going to use the Gemini model. So as it loads, though, you'll notice it's different than Gemini because it's actually showing the data in a really cool way. So we can see, hey, that's a great question. And it starts telling us about black holes. Uh, it has an interactive list and it has the four images. And it says, hey, these are just some of the ways scientists are stuttering, studying these black holes. So we can hit go deeper and it is going to start uh, giving us more information about these black holes. Uh, so again, there's like another interactive list and it might create a table. It might just do different stuff and every single time it will be different, but it's going to give you information about black holes. Uh, so they have these buttons where we can simplify, go deeper, or we can get images. But under that, we have these uh, like light purple buttons that give you suggestions on what to follow up next. So say we want to learn more about gravitational waves and how they work. We can click that and now we are learning about gravitational waves. On the left side, we can see uh, there is suggested topics and descriptions of different stuff. We can click that and right away that will populate on the right side um, based off whatever you click. So now you can see we're building our vocabulary, we're learning about space time and why it matters, and it's just giving us more and more information. So let's say we're reading through this and uh, you know, it's space time is what we really want to know what space time is. So we can say, what is this? And now we are learning about space time. It's just basically jumping over into space time. And this time we have a nice image and it has this stop and think box, which is kind of cool. So before Einstein, uh, thought of space and time separated by absolute entities, Einstein's theory of relativity, and it goes on and on. If space time is flexible and can be wrapped, uh, warped, sorry, what, could potentially cause the most extreme warping of space time. And we can tap to reveal and it's just like a stop and think question and just kind of gets you thinking. And then it has like test your knowledge. So honestly, I wasn't really reading it or paying attention, but I got it wrong. So it gives you these little uh, tidbits as you go. Uh, and this is just one of the ones that it suggested. So we can click here and tell me about the AI singularity. So now we're going to learn about the AI singularity, which is a hypothetical point in time where AI becomes so advanced it surpasses human intelligence. So uh, it has common misconceptions and this little red box and the check, and it gives you all this information. Sometimes it will uh, populate videos and so on and so forth. The last thing I want to show you, and this is an important one, um, all this information could be wrong, right? It even says at the bottom, AI responses may be inaccurate or misleading. Double check for accuracy. And you may ask, how do we double check for accuracy? So there's this Google button, which says double check response. So if we click that, um, you'll see when we scroll up now, there's this text that's highlighted green, which was not highlighted green before with this down arrow. So we can click that and that will link us to where it pulled the information from. So this one, it pulled it from a YouTube video. If we scroll up and we do it again up here, uh, we're going to see something pop up as to where it pulled it from. And here it is. 
So this time around, it pulled it from this website from IBM. And if we click it, uh, it will lead you to the website as to where it pulled the data from. Uh, if we click the YouTube video, it'll lead you to the YouTube video. So not only, is it, not only is it showing you all this data, it's actually just like sourcing it out for you. So it is a really cool tool if you want to dive into a topic or a concept and you're just basically going down a rabbit hole of continuously learning about that topic. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like this more than uh, Perplexity or the new ChatGPT search? Uh, if you haven't tried this, definitely try it. It is free as long as you are in the world of the United States. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. The mass majority of you who will be watching this are not subscribed. And if you made it this far, subscribe for future AI content. Uh, that's all I got for you today. We'll see you in the next AI video. Subscribe to Franklin, join the ride In this journey side by side Tech and wonder far and wide Franklin's world, come on inside